Hello again guys, it's been a while since I've talked to you in person. Well, in this episode we are going to be talking about a very uh, strange topic actually. It's a topic I've been talking about in Comic Con Dubai. I've prepared this material for Comic Con Dubai, MEFCC, Middle East, Film and Comic Con. I used to enjoy this con uh, it's my second time to visit it and it was a nice addition to my personal cv to give that lecture and workshop there so i wanted to share this experience with you two guys so the first thing we are going to be talking about is how do you create your villain? How do you create a villain for your comic book? So stay tuned as we are going to be speaking about how to create your own villain. Well first we are going to be talking about three main three major points that you are going to use to create any character, especially if you are wanting to create a superhero or a villain. What is a superhero or a villain? What is any character around? It's three major points. It's the persona, the reasons, and the features. Okay, we are going to start with the persona. So what is the persona? The persona we are going to define it as Sigmund Freud has said it. It's the, the ID, the ego, and the superego. The ID is the instinct, the ego is the reality, the superego is the morality. Well, think of those three personas that going to make you a superhero or going to make you a villain, okay? When you adjust or when you make something, if you increase the ID, you are going to lower the superego. Well, in this case, the ego is going to move through and go to the ID. Or it may move to and go to the superego and there is a superhero who is going to fight between his ego and his superego, between his reality and his morality. Take example like Daredevil, the Punisher, or Batman maybe. We got very different we very different persona fighting each other to reach the audience, to reach readers. This is what happens when you create super character that people would like or people would love well first of all let's listen to what Sigmund Freud said the say, say the source of evil is the ID which is distinctive villain motivations are driven by the tendency of the ego to make realistic decisions about meeting the unrealistic and reasonable desires but by the ID well this war seemed very complicated in the EU. But how are we going to use those words to our advantage? As I have already so told you so that the measures and the controls between the ID and the ego and the super ego is your weapon, is your major point. Your adjective here, your objective is to build a villain so his ego is going to be moving to his id his super ego it may be not existing or it could be very weak against his id so such as the joker the joker is kinda like him. his super ego doesn't exist his ego even kinda like dead and he's only thinking with the ID, maybe he's using the ego for understanding how far his explosion is going to be or something like that. But the main point here is to be controlling those three. So your key to, destroy, to start making a character is those three personas. The ID, the ego and the super ego. Well, let's head second to the hero and the protagonist, okay? What is the superhero consists of? The superhero is like the body, the powers, this is 
like the, maybe the, the ID and the mind, the mental idea, the purpose. This is the reality that the uh, superhero wants. This is the reality that uh, even the villain wants. And of course, the soul. The soul which resembles the superego, love, wisdom, feelings, life force. So, what does our hero want? If our hero want have the powers of water and things for peace, well, his villains, of course, is going to be using fire or could be using dryness to put down this water. It's a flow of ideas, so be your favorite. Villain versus antagonists. Well, this is a major point that this is a focus point that some kind of us, many many of us lose while creating character. The villain always is meant to harm the hero or others, while the antagonist is only the opposite of the hero. When you think of the two faced Harvey Dent and the as a villain, you will have to consider him first as an antagonist. He had the same theory of Bruce Wayne, but he didn't want to think the same way as Bruce Wayne or Batman. So he had to take some consequences, he had to take some steps to the theory he had in mind. So after that, he had conflict between his ID and his ego. His super, his Superego was kind of weak, so he had to deal between his ego and his ID. This is what happened when he attacked Robert Thorne at the Batman animated series back from the 90s. So, sometimes the antagonist turn into a villain. Well, when you create a villain. There is a villain tree I would like you to think as could be a guide for your character design, could be a guide for your own villain making, villain, uh, or maybe could help you with your game or whatever. Well, the first branch is the mirror opposite. The mirror opposite of Batman is like Prometheus. The bully type character maybe could be like the juggernaut or, or maybe it could be like Venom. It's different. Nothing else to do like Joker or Black Manta. Imagine like Batman or Aquaman suddenly died. Well, I think Joker went into deep depression. Depression eh? couldn't have anything to do else when he knew one of many titles that man died and came back to life he was so depressed and couldn't find any other hobby or anything to do well the same thing happened to black man so when aquaman died he he, o he opened a fish shop a decoration shop it's like he had nothing else to do with that to have vengeance or and may love to annoy the superhero or maybe he's a dark lord a dark lord could be like a sis maybe or other things maybe a mastermind criminal mastermind like the kingpin ancient evil with cause or purpose like oppression ghoul well, pick a branch of those, if you'd like to make a sketch or make anything and would like to send it to me, well, you pick a branch, sketch it or write down your own villain, so maybe I can follow you and talk together about it. We're going to pick two differences between the characters from uh, Marvel, okay? The first character is Daredevil. We're going to look at Daredevil and look at his own his own villains. First one is the Nemesis, the Bullseye. Bullseye, he's kinda like the bully type of 
Daredevil is kind like he is the total opposite. Couldn't, we can't say it's the total opposite because we're going to save this spot for the Punisher. But when you look at the Kingpin, well, the Kingpin is a criminal mastermind, criminal underground mastermind. When you look at the Punisher, it's the same. It's with the major points. He's not a bully, but he is the opposite of Daredevil. He, he thinks that the justice system sucks and he wants to make justice by on himself. So, according to Daredevil, we're going to study his three his three major personas, the body, the mind, idea, the purpose, and his soul. Okay, when you look at those, start making a character. He is a character I created for my imagination. A new villain, maybe is fan art. I created character named Mobat. He is a character created for me for the purpose of this workshop I did back in 2019, as I told you so. Uh, his identity is secret, citizenship is American, gender is male, height is 8.10, weight 100 kilograms, origin is he's a human mutate, birthplace, his health kitchen, the same place Daredevil is uh, protecting and living in. So, Mobat is a criminal mastermind and got a bunch of like bad sonar, the same sonar maybe that Daredevil got, but in a monstrous, monstrosity way. That resembles his face, and he can crawl on walls. Not only jump on walls or going there to have a tough time to sink, tough time. But add to that, super strength, high super senses, his mutations gives him an edge at steals and allowing him to do acrobatics and the crazy stunt jumps at ease. So here's what I had to do. I had to think of the total opposite powers of Daredevil. Daredevil is superhero is to sonar sonar I can like sonar system runs in his mind, solar powers, sonar power sorry, and he's using those with acrobatics. So I got those and added them to this character which is called Mobat which added a, a, a small hint from this uh, villain tree and made him a mastermind so he's kinda like he is the bully type and he is a mastermind we can use maybe the mirror opposite maybe we can use the nothing else to do when we give him uh, an in-depth story, but I think we are not going to do this since it's not my character or not even uh, I'm not even working for the company to create this. I oh, I only made this for you guys to enjoy and giving you some examples to think about. Well, let's talk about Spider-Man. Spider-Man, when you look at his body and his motivations, and his soul. He had kind of responsibility with inner justice and inner peace, with some small conflict, not big conflict as Turtle Wall face. So let's talk about the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin is just just want chaos with Spider-Man. He wants he's a total opposite. He wants to create evil. Well, aside from the Hope Goblin, the Hope Goblin is the smaller type. Of villain from the Green Goblin. Well, looking at Electro, here is what we are talking about. Electro, Electro is the character that resembles the total opposite of the character using a weak point from the character. The character is already got back power, so when you hit the bug, sometimes you hit with electrified, with Electricity. So here comes our villains. Electro. Well, Spider-Man is also a young character. He's maybe he's teenager in some comics. He's a man in others. Well, he's always a young person. Well, here is the man. The vulture resembles all ugly and greed. So he wants to control, control, and get everything golden, lovely take it and grab it from you. Well, other than Spider-Man feels responsibility and wants to give his life for others to save them. 
When you look at the spot, the spot is kind of like the character, the, the character who would like to steal, the character who would like to bully, so he just not the, uh, the other characters, but he is the bully type. Well, here I created a, a villain too for Spider Man, he is the original character I created for this workshop too, for uh, I did back in Dubai. His name is Bugbuster, his identity is secret, citizenship American, gender male, height is 5.11, weight is 79 kilograms, origin, human mutate, place of birth, New York. Bugbuster was only a renegade soldier, always trying to get the spotlight, and we figured, when he figured there is no way to for a retired guy like him from the military, to get such a chance, he was depressed enough to work for a bug repellent spray that he discovered later it was a front for mutation, black market self mutation powers, which led to a destruction of the factory, making him the only survivor and giving him sharp mind powers, allowing him to create spray able to take away spy man powers for hours, giving Bugbuster the chance to rumble and crumble as he sees fit. So I mix up the bully type with the total opposite that he's taking Spider Man powers and using a bucker bill on spray. So here's what I had in mind. Well, we already have talked for the persona, we have talked about the reasons. Well, we are going to be talking about the features. The features is like how is going to look well the head shape skull the bones the facial features the brows eyes nose and mouth and hair expressions anatomical proportions power balance wheel so you're going to add this to your arsenal or when you use it to create a character of course the character when you're making a huge bullet type you're going to create a huge character like the juggernaut or the rhino uh, well, you can write or draw your villain, of course, if you'd like to, and send it back to me. Well, of course, when you are creating the universe, those are the very golden questions. I always got tell you about this, guys. Why, when, and where? Why, when, and where? Why, when, and where are? The, those three questions are very helpful to determine the condition, form, and shape of your story, foe, and every other character. The hero, the villain, the supporting characters, and others. They even help you to get the full grip of control of the past, the present, and the future of your own comic universe, of your game, maybe, whatever you like. Well, I got some samples for you if you'd like to start creating your own character. Well, uh, the first one is uh, Renegade Soldier, Sorcerer Villain, Beastly Villain, Breast to Kill, Alien Creature, huh. well, writes or draw or makes or those characters, whatever you want to make about those, those samples. Feel free to send me anytime, I'm, send, I'm posting my links down below in the description. I even started a group with my teammates and admins uh, to artist jobs and showcase feel free to join us on facebook as we are always trying to give a chance and post daily jobs for artists and for artists uh, for writers for anything who would like to work in our business i know it's tough times so but we are together trying to make it easy times for all of us well, many thanks again guys for watching, many thanks for listening to me, so, looking forward to be talking to you again in another topic, if you like this topic type, I got many other things like how to create your own Justice League, how to create your own first superhero, how to create your lovely girlfriend that's going to love the superhero, I got many other stuff about this, so feel free to write down in the comment section and feel free to send me on my social media links. Many thanks again guys and goodbye.